<laughs> yeah, you know who it is. It's the original download. <laughs> like cassette tapes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right now I'm gonna show off uh, some metal. Now when I talk metal, I'm talking really old stuff. Uh, like the creatives of it with uh, Black Sabbath. But I'm also gonna show some of the different singers of Black Sabbath. This is my Black Sabbath CD box. And I got starting off with the first one, you know, green ass chick there, you know. It's a rhino reissue, so I'm really like that. They actually tell you stories and what was going on at that time. Me being, you know, five or something at the time, four or five. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Anyway, just another Rhino reissue. Uh, paranoid. The only bad thing is I have the uh, Master of Reality on record, because that is my favorite record. This is my second favorite. They want like a hundred dollars for the Super Deluxe records and they want like fifty dollars for the CDs and you get to have all the old stuff they didn't want to have in the first place but they supposedly fixed it all up but yeah man I really love volume four man but you know uh, Master of Reality and this one is when they really got the whole Doom thing going pretty good man <laughs> some great songs Cause Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Again, another reissue. I think it's Rhino. Or, yeah. Oh, no, it's Warner Brothers. Okay. But still reissue. I don't have the case for this one, so I've got that. This is Sabotage. And, uh,. I think whenever they came with a CD for this, like, because they didn't have CDs in 1975. Got greatest, oh, greatest hits. <laughs> and I love this. I was going to get the thing from Beth. I wanted to get the album cover of this and put, like, uh, Billy Joel, but she never took me serious with that. <laughs> uh, never say die. <laughs> Because they keep on coming back to life like cockroaches. And this is a Warner Brother that, oh no, it's a, it's a rhino. It's a rhino here. Wait a moment, if that's rhino, how is this not rhino? Oh, this is rhino too. Okay. Man, I'm learning stuff as you're learning it. <laughs> and I got Nativity in Black here, which is the uh, tribute album and they got a oh, bunch of people here. Corrosion of Conformity, uh, Megadeth, White Zombie, you name it, they got it from the 80s and the 90s. Uh, Faith No More, Typo Negative, Sepatura, The Bullring Brothers, which has a, uh, oh, Halford in it. And I think, why not? I'm not sure. Yeah, look at this. This is, I pulled this uh, rainbow out for Dio because Dio sang in, uh, in uh, Black Sabbath and I put his rainbow stuff out. Then I got Holy Diver, which I think this one would be the second and this would be my first choice because this is the album I came in on, uh, the last in line. Although this is a, you know, killer no filler album, so. And he got uh, the very beast of Dio, I showed that recently. Uh, Blizzard of Oz, Ozzy Osbourne which was supposed to be a band. It wasn't supposed to be just an Ozzy Osbourne thing. But yeah, you have uh, Diary of a Madman, 
which I would put as number one in my paper. That's the one I came in at. But I would say this would drop to number four if I was rating them. This would go as number two, no rest but a wicket. And then I put Blizzard of Oz as number three and Bark at the Moon at four. This would be five, not that it's a bad album, it's actually a pretty good album. I put it way ahead of uh, Ultimate Sin. And uh, this is probably the worst one he put out is Black Rain. It, I would have made it as an EP and I think there's only like, oh, I don't know, five or less songs I would make out of this. And then of course, because we had Jackie Lee playing, you got to get some Badlands with Jackie Lee. And you had Ray Gillen, who also sang for, at a short time, for uh, Black Sabbath, and then they went with Tony Martin. And of course, Jakey Lee, and Jakey Lee, the, uh, what's his name? Zach Wilde, with Black Label Society, man. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think with the Zach Wild stuff, I think this is the best. This surprised me. I mean, I listened to it and I thought it wasn't, I, I got, I'm getting more into this, but this I understand why they didn't. Oh, look, I get free tickets to uh, Ozfest. <laughs> whoop de doo man, from 14 years ago. Uh, yeah, I'm thrilled about it. Anyway, <laughs> I don't like to hear Ozzy doing uh, albums past uh, no, no More Tears because, uh, well, what's the point? <laughs> All right, and I'm going to show some more metal stuff uh, in honor to uh, metal band, uh, kind of telling my metal story a bit. But I'm going to show the next part of this is going to be me showing uh, some of the thrash stuff I got into. But I'll talk to you when I talk to you. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.